Well, so that probably wasn't the most efficient way to do things. Uh, I didn't plan on that having a bunch of sand underneath of it. So that makes it make that made it kind of tough to move around in it. This is pretty tight location anyway. Driveway's pretty narrow. Um, when we tore the garage down, just wasn't a lot of space to get around a dumpster and all that stuff. But I got pretty much most of the concrete out. Looks like I got a few little chunks here and there, but I've still got that big footing from the chimney and the bucket of the bobcat I'm gonna have to throw on the truck. I took uh, several scoops of that sand out because I don't want to leave it too thick. We go to put dirt over it, it's just gonna be moving around and everything else. So I probably should have just, I didn't know how that uh, thickened wall was gonna be if it was, uh, you know, really thick underneath what you couldn't see it wasn't actually too bad but those awkward pieces like that are hard to load in the truck um you don't want them to get stuck in a tailgate when you go to dump because that turns into a big nightmare but ended up being a couple loads yesterday which was just a few pieces here and there and then uh we got two good loads today i was able to get it busted up that excavator it's a little bit slower but a lot less moving around so it just works better in this situation where you got tight quarters i guess i don't know whatever you think is going to work good it's probably going to be the opposite so i can smooth this out with the skid steer a little bit we'll bring some dirt in and spread it out and it should be in pretty good shape <laughs> 